Okay guys, hi, welcome to Mark Bayaski YouTube channel. Today is going to be a, a really interesting one because I think so many people have asked about this topic uh, of crystals. So I'm going to try and break it down as uh, the three most powerful crystals that I've worked with are on a level of how to um, work on the heart they call chakra or power point. And uh, that's it really. You like my top? I think this one's pretty cool. I've never worn this one before. This is a cool top. So the heart chakra, um, the, the power point of the heart, the key to all um, of spirituality, our higher self, the awareness, the, uh, the everything really. It, it really is the most powerful place to heal, strengthen, um, clear all the blocks and so on. So today's a great day. I'm uh, really looking forward to taking you through this. Now, I've got to state, first of all, that over the um, years that I've worked with crystals, there are many heart opening and healing and cleansing crystals for the heart. Many, many, many. So this is just um, my feeling at this moment. But there may be a crystal that comes along again that blows me away like uh, one crystal did uh, a few months ago and um, I'm going to talk about that one as well so there's certain crystals which are for me always a very powerful heart healing crystal and always has been so the three crystals that I'm going to share with you uh, are either very new or ones that I've worked with for a long time so that's it then guys, I've got my coffee, <laughs> needed it today, uh, and I'm all ready. So I hope you are. Okay, let's begin with number three. Number three is a very beautiful ruby garnet. It's a really, really special crystal. I've been working with this now for probably about six months, maybe a little bit longer. Prior to that, I didn't feel much from them when I was working with them about eight years ago. So I left them, but now for some reason, this batch has felt really, really beautiful and I can feel the energy um, day by day, week by week. Week and I've been wearing this too. It's been a, a really, a really nice crystal to wear. The energy of this crystal is on a heart level in the energy of making the heart stronger rather than anything else. It's like when it sits here, I noticed it blasts an energy to the heart. And it, it feels like your heart's been pumped up from the inside. It feels like something is working inside uh, your heart that it's a very positive energy, extremely. It's a positive wave, which is a constant wave. And I love this crystal because when you're feeling, when your heart feels stronger, when it feels like it's been pumped up, you almost feel like you're filled with confidence, like you're, you know, Wonder Woman, Superman, whatever you, but you feel strong. And through that, through that heart being pumped with this energy, I think we learn to release a lot. Because if you're, if you imagine that your heart's being blasted with a wave all the time of healing, of power, of making it stronger, well, anything that was negative there is going to be pushed away. So I think the uh, Ruby Garnet has certainly got that energy, which is a constant um, wave that keeps blasting your heart constantly. So when I first started wearing it, I thought, wow, this is great. And some of the effects on this crystal was, you know, when you, you, you kind of like lose your breath and you, you have to take a breath because you, you know, you, you've missed a breath. It feels like that. So I knew something was happening in the chest area, but I wasn't sure. I never bought it as a crystal that I thought would be a heart healing crystal. Even though it's red, red is of love, red is of your heart, makes sense. But I wasn't sure because of the first time I actually had a piece of red 
garnet, which I, I never like looked at that ruby garnet as, you know, this is going to work. So I think it might have been my perception at the time. And there's a lot of crystals that I choose to ignore. Not, no reason why, but now the day came when I took this crystal and it was a, a moment when I picked up a few of them and I thought, you know what? One of these is gonna really help a friend of mine. And I don't wanna go into too much detail, but um, somebody passed away into the light and one of, uh, one of the children was a very strong child um, and coped with it very well. However, I knew that the heart needed a lot of healing. Um, and as children do, we do cope very well. My my mum passed when I was 12 and I think I coped quite well with it, even though I still, you know, in fact, I coped better with, with it then than I do now. So it's kind of funny that, right? So I placed one of these around her neck and uh, she's treasured it ever since and wears it all the time. So that's always a good sign to me. And she's a lot more happier, a lot more confident, and she, she seems fine. So I think this crystal served her well, very well at that moment of the most painful uh, challenge of life, as many of us go through, of course. So I would say number three is the beautiful red ruby garnet, which is a beautiful crystal to pump positive energy to make you feel stronger and to heal many different levels of the heart. So it could be love, it could be um, heartbreak, it could be the loss of a family member, but anything that the heart has struggled with, I think this is a beautiful, beautiful crystal, okay? Lovely, lovely crystal indeed, as you can see. Okay, that's number three. Number two, you already know this, don't you guys? It is a most beautiful, beautiful rose quartz. This is what we call a very high grade, high end rose quartz. Um, this one is from uh, Brazil. Um, I, they're from all over the world, but Brazil is a really, really good place to buy your rose quartz. This is high-end rose quartz. I um, hunted this down and made sure that the clasp was ultra strong and the, the bonding was perfect. And the crystal is really high-end um, rose quartz. So you can buy rose quartz very reasonably priced. Um, I wanted some really high-end uh, stuff and it does feel wonderful, it really does. Um, just because it's high-end doesn't mean it works better. It just is a more beautiful looking crystal. It feels pure, it feels loving, it feels strong, powerful. Rose quartz works on a slightly different way than the ruby garnet, okay? And the reason why that is, is because I think rose quartz is what's called a comfort crystal. Um, with comfort, I believe it comes with a protection as well. So when you are wearing rose quartz, it feels like you feel protected. And I think you are. And there is, uh, in my opinion, a strong connection to the spirit world with rose quartz. That's why it's so popular. And I think not only is it calming for your whole body because you feel protected in your heart, but I think it's also a very powerful crystal to clear away all of the fear, all of the worries in the heart that then allows you to reconnect to your family and spirit, the, the, your higher self, and just in general feel um, more at balance in life. So if you're going through um, life and it seems to be a bit traumatic, that there's always issues in your life. There's always problems with family members. There's always, you know, something amiss all the time. And you feel let down. You feel like, you feel unbalanced with your family and friends. Something feels missing. Something just doesn't feel right. Rose quartz is a beautiful crystal for that. It is also a beautiful crystal if you have lost somebody in the spirit world. It's a comforting, calming crystal that releases 
a lot of the emotional trauma that we go through in the heart after losing somebody, after losing a pet. Um, if you have to say goodbye to your children because they're, they're leaving this country and they're going to another country, it's a beautiful crystal to give to them as well as to have one yourself. I always think that's a beautiful thing to do, buying two pieces and wearing one. Hold them both in your hands, say a little prayer and then gift that one to you know your children or somebody that you love and then you wear that. So the bond is always there, the feeling of love between you is always there from the heart. It also has an amazing energy to strengthen your heart, to become more attuned to your higher self. And that is really important with rose quartz. I think when you're attuned with your higher self, you are able to heal yourself much quicker. You're able to let go of issues and problems from other people. You're able to say, you know what, I wanna let this go. I don't wanna fight, I wanna move on, and I just want peace and calmness in my heart, in my life. And that's what this does. It influences you. Influence, not a good word. Maybe it helps you become aware of what's important. So it, it helps you focus in the right direction to do the right thing or to make the changes in your life that you think, you know what, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of being, carrying the suffering, the pain. It's too heavy, it's too much. This crystal, Rose Quartz, helps you see that and let go or push away and walk away with love, not with anger. It does heal you and there is a lot of forgiveness in that. Um, you all know my favorite crystal for forgiveness, that is um, Cavansite, but this is more targeted for the heart. Cavansite is more the third eye, more the crown chakra and the throat chakra. This one is for me purely the heart energy. It really is. It's just the heart, this one, and so is the, the ruby uh, agate as well. So this is number two. Um, a great crystal if you know somebody who is very sad because they're on their own. You know, when you know you might have been with somebody all your life and then they've left you or they've passed into the spirit world, gone home, and you feel alone. This is an amazing crystal because, like I said, it makes you feel comfort. It helps you feel protected. And through that, you feel your family and the spirit world around. So... I could go on all day about this one, but it is a beautiful, beautiful crystal. Rose quartz. Don't knock it just because it's very, very common. Don't think, oh, it's just rose quartz. Trust me, it's a powerful crystal. That's why uh, so many people have it and it's so um, easily access accessible. Please be aware, by the way, guys, not so much the, um, the ruby agate that I haven't seen any copies, but... There is a lot of glass going around with um, rose quartz now. I actually believed at one time, six months ago, that they wouldn't copy um, rose quartz because it's such a good price anyway. What's the point? But unfortunately, I have seen some. I was shown some. I tried to buy some the other day from a friend, but he said, no, I want to keep this just to show people. Um, because I always like to buy fake to be able to show you to say look just be a bit careful so again my suggestion is get yourself down to your local crystal shop and buy a piece from there then you are normally guaranteed that it's going to be genuine because their sources are normally genuine sources that they've used for many years okay All right that's number number two okay drum roll number one this is going to shock you. <laughs> Are you ready for it then? Here it is, number one. Oh my goodness, look at that beauty. I have fallen in love with this crystal. From Madagascar uh, and a few other places, this crystal is indeed a very special crystal. It is the moonstone and it's pink moonstone. It is now got to be my favorite crystal for the heart, without a doubt. Um, one of the things with this crystal I found is it brings um, an almost like a translucive, a translucive, I think that's the word. It helps you see through everything, through the heart. So I don't say it strengthens. I don't say it, it 
um, makes you feel comfort and, and you feel good and you feel protected. It doesn't feel like any of those energies. It feels almost like it's connected to the heart. For some reason, when I wear it, it feels like it sticks onto me and it's meant to be there. Whatever is happening on a level of um, healing or a level of strengthening or clearing, I think it's all of the above, but I don't think it's specific to one thing. I think there's many things going on with this crystal. It's really difficult where to begin with this one because when I first started wearing it, I found myself feeling very light, first of all, and my heart felt like I was a young kid again. I felt young and um, I didn't feel the palpitations or the breath or anything like that. I just felt lighter, at ease, more at peace in the sense of um, nothing seemed to upset me, nothing seemed to worry me, nothing seemed to be um, a big deal or a big issue. And when I was wearing it, I was feeling, again, it's really challenging to tell you exactly how I feel because it wasn't about confidence. I wasn't feeling confident because I, I feel happy every day but it was heightening whatever was happening within me, in my heart, it was heightening. So I was feeling almost like, if there is a little bit of happiness there, it, 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 what's the word? It makes it more, it, it brings out more of the, the, the good within your heart. It, so, I have to be careful because I don't want to say it amplifies because it, it isn't because you might then think, oh, well, my heart feels bad or, or negative. So will it amplify that? No, because I went through a little bit of a challenge while I was wearing this with a friend of mine and instantly within 15 minutes, I was feeling good again. So it was like my heart wasn't feeling the suffering and pain, which I could have done normally. And I found that fascinating because I'm really sensitive and my sensitivity normally goes to negativity. You know what I'm saying. It normally heads to the what ifs and what I should have said and what I could have done and what I did and what I did. And what. Uh, this wasn't doing that. It was almost like allowing the 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 truth in my heart, the, the feeling of, of the positive outlook on everything that my heart normally doesn't sh share, or it, after a while it does, but it takes a long time. But it was focusing on the positive of everything, the positive of what I was saying, what I was doing, how I was feeling. So wearing this crystal, I think for the heart, it must be, an, I don't wanna say amplifier, but it must focus on the positive energy and disregard the negative energy as if it's meaningless. So when wearing this crystal, it is a heart crystal to help strengthen or help you see your true potential, your true love, your true power. And through that, I believe it helps everything that I've talked about, what these other two crystals do. It clears negativity because it's not focusing on negativity. So there must be something happening on another level. That's why I was saying a lot is going on when you're wearing this on many levels and it is hard to explain, but everything is positive. Now, I didn't feel pain or suffering. I didn't feel the memory of, of anything that needed to come up, which is really interesting because most crystals try and bring out the blocks and you can feel them. This I didn't feel, I just felt an overwhelming positivity and the strength um, of, about who I am and what I am and, and what my heart is. And it was like targeting positivity within me, which is always there, but our mind tends to look at the negative. So it is a positive heart crystal to help you strengthen, clear and all the above. So number one crystal for me, for the heart, right now is this beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, when wearing it, I felt a lot of clarity. 
I was um, more than happy in taking adventures and, and, and taking chances, but with clarity, not with, not with being silly, just, you know, when I take a chance to do something or buy something, it felt right. So a lot of the times when I was wearing this, I felt focused, I felt my intuition was stronger, I felt that I knew what I was doing because I was following a certain feeling that was no fear, no worries. So it is a crystal that helps you become attuned or at least become one with your heart. So it's almost like there is a connection between your higher self and your heart that is working simultaneously with the crystal. So I think it's a positive crystal. What would I wear this for? I'd probably wear it uh, on every aspect to heal yourself from whatever issue. Would I wear it if I was planning on doing uh, uh, going somewhere like um, a traveling? Would I wear it for a new um, project like writing a book? I probably would wear it for all of those things. I really would. So I hope this means something to you today. I hope you enjoy um, these crystals. I believe that um, the rose quartz is easy to um, um, get hold of, guys. This one may be a little bit more challenging to get hold of. Um, I don't know about um, these being fake or not, okay? So do your research, do your homework, and um, yeah, they are gorgeous. All right, that's it then, guys. Um, little special gift today for you guys, because I love you all. <laughs> Okay, I've got five beautiful rose quartz angels and um, just write a little message underneath here guys and uh, I'll choose five people today and gift these away today to one of you guys. Keep an eye, if, you've, if you put a, a message up, please keep an eye because uh, some of you have not returned a message that I offered a crystal to you, which is fine if it was meant to be, you would have taken it, but just keep an eye out guys, because it might be later on today, tomorrow, the following day, just keep an eye to see if I first sent you a message. But these five are gonna go out, hopefully today or tomorrow, so to one of you guys, because I love you all. I hope this video serves you well. Little bit tired today, as you can all tell, uh, I'm sure but I'm getting stronger every day, um, getting over the jet lag from LA and all the work we've been doing here. And uh, we're still cracking on with it, uh, on with your deliveries, um, wrapping and packing, and the uh, the oils, the new oils, sacred oils, they're all um, being wrapped and packed and they're all coming out to you today as well. So thank you guys and bear one thing in mind, if you go to my website, mattbayeski.com, Please bear in mind, there is a sign on every single item that we sell, which is a sign of UK sterling pounds, <laughs> not dollars, okay? All my products are in pounds sterling, okay? Have a beautiful day, guys. If you go on my website, enjoy it and enjoy the crystals because they're all being worked on by me, by hand every day with love. I hope you enjoy my pure energy healing crystals. I really do. And thank you for trusting in me. Take care, guys. Till tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys.